interesting thing to understand about clinical nutrition as it's applied in the United States. Here's a statistic that will blow your mind. In the United States, couch potatoes, people that do not exercise, live longer by 10 years than people who exercise regularly. Now, I don't want to scare you and scare all your clients away. That's not where I'm going with this at all. The reason behind this crazy statistic is... As a population of people, we in the United States are egregiously, totally, and completely undernutrified. And when we are so undernutrified for such a long period of time, and then we stress the body more with exercise, it hurts the body because it puts an increased metabolic stress on the body that the body can't handle because it doesn't have the nutrients that it needs because we can't get the nutrients from our food, right? It's just like, let's say you won the lottery and you bought a brand new Mercedes, brand new Porsche, okay? And that car needs six quarts of oil. But you don't know that, so you only put two quarts of oil in it. So you've got two quarts of oil and the engine needs six, you're down four. So then you get all excited about your new car, you get in it and you drive it to Las Vegas at 100 miles an hour. You're lucky if you're going to get over the Illinois state line because the engine's going to burn out and seize up because you're four quarts of oil short. Makes sense. And there's nothing wrong with the car. All you needed was more oil, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you took the same car and drove it at 10 miles an hour, you'd be able to get a lot further before the engine burned out because there's less stress on the engine if you're driving at 10 miles an hour than if you're driving it at 100 miles an hour. Well, exactly the same thing happens when we exercise the body. If you exercise the body in a nutritionally depleted state, it's dangerous and it will hurt you and you will die young. If you exercise a body that's completely neutrified, you turn into superman, superwoman, you never get sick, your health is optimized, and it's an incredible thing to behold. And this is the key. Exercise is very important. And exercise with nutrition will save your life. Now, basically in a nutshell, that's it. Now, there's one thing to understand about clinical nutrition that a lot of people uh, don't get. We have a tendency, you know, uh, in the United States... <clears throat> where we've been overwhelmed um, by the conventional medical model. You know, uh, in the United States, it's MDs are the top dog, and what most yes. people understand about medicine comes from a, 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 an MD's perspective, right? And don't get me wrong, MDs, uh, they do great medicine, but they're trained in a type of medicine called reductionism. And a reductionistic approach argues that the body is a machine made of parts which needs to be taken apart when somebody is sick. So, you go to a medical doctor, you get one medicine for your heartburn, one medicine for your blood pressure, one medicine for your depression, one medicine for your joint pain, one medicine for insomnia, right? Yes. Often what will happen is when people are trying to apply nutrition, we apply nutrition along reductionistic lines. So, we think about calcium, or we think about magnesium, or we think about vitamin C, or we think about zinc, right? And those are good things to think yes. about, and those are all important things to have, but the body needs 91 nutrients in order to be healthy. And these nutrients have to be imported into the system every day. The body can't make them. There are 91 of them. There aren't 90, there aren't 92, there's 91 of them. Uh, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, uh, 3 essential fatty acids. That's what the body needs every day in order to be healthy. And let me tell you something, folks. You cannot get these nutrients from your food. Yeah. They are not in the food the way that they used to be. And even in a perfect world, all 90 of them weren't in the food. So, <clears throat> you have 91 nutrients that the body needs. They have to be imported into the system every day. Nobody that I know of, and I've been doing this for 21 years uh, clinically, does that. Uh, nobody does all 91 nutrients every day unless they're my patient, and then you're going you're gonna to bet that they do. And when 
if you start taking all 91 nutrients into your body every day from formulations that have been uh, developed in order to be 100% absorbable, that's a game changer. So instead of just taking a vitamin C or a multiple vitamin or selenium or extra zinc or an energy drink or whatever, if you take all 91 nutrients every day in a very easy to absorb fashion and you exercise, that's a winning combination that absolutely positively can't be beat. And remember, exercise without proper supplementation is dangerous. Exercise with proper supplementation will change your life, and I guarantee it. You know, that's some uh, fascinating uh, um, topic, and I always uh, love the way, you know, you start explaining about everything in details, uh, but uh, uh, in the near future, we're going to be talking a little more about uh, a certain uh, nutrition and certain types of uh, uh, diseases that you might prevent by doing the right things absolutely but but for now uh, I think that's that's great start for for everybody else to know that uh, 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 exercise and nutrition they go together but uh, uh, exercise without the proper nutrition is dangerous absolutely and uh, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for more videos